Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use props and sounds in your episode stories. So this is our code from the art catalog. If you haven't seen the tutorial, you can check it out on the episode interactives playlist on my channel. So in order to get to props and sounds, I first want to point out that on line 13, I did add an animation that's called eat food and angry which makes absolutely no sense when I preview this code because I haven't added any props to Alice. So I'm going to preview this and get to that point and I'll show you what I mean. There. Alice ate something but there's nothing in her hand so it looks like she's eating A. So let's do something about that. I'm going to scroll down to the library and go to where it says props. So from here you get tons and tons of props that episode interactive provides for us and you can filter through the props or you can go ahead and check them out one by one i don't think that there's an apple animation but let's see so i'm going to type in apple did i say animation i mean prop and i was correct there is no apple prop which means that we're going to have to have alice eat something else let's say for example she's eating a sandwich i know that there are sandwich props in episodes so i'm going to type in sandwich and these options pop up. So there's the marshmallow, turkey fluff, sandwich bread brown. Then there's the panini sandwich bread brown. There's a peanut butter jelly sandwich, a tomato, tomato, wow. Tomato, lettuce, and ham sandwich. So I'm just going to go in with that one. Now, in order to be able to add props to our characters, we have to go to a line in our code right before the character performs the animation that requires the prop. For example, Alice is eating some type of food very angrily with her hand, uh, sorry, with food in her hand on line 13, which means that we have to add a prop to Alice before line 13. Otherwise, Alice is just going to keep eating invisible food and then the prop will be added to her. So I'm going to go to line 12 and hit the space bar and the way that we add props to our character in episode is we've got to use the add symbol, the word add, go to the prop that we've just filtered through. So I'm going to choose this one. All you've got to do is select it. You just have to left click. It inserts automatically. And then we're going to finish it off by saying to and the name of the character that you want it to be added to. Since Alice is the one that's eating the food, we're going to add it to Alice. So it's going to be at add sandwich tomato lettuce ham to Alice in all capital letters. So now I'm going to preview this again and Alice will have a sandwich that's got tomato and lettuce and ham on it. Then she's going to eat it and it's all going to make sense. Perfect. So now we are faced with this problem. We don't want the rest of the story to continue with the food item or the prop, whatever prop it is, in Alice's hand, right? So we have to type in some type of code that's going to remove the prop from Alice again before the rest of the story plays out. So before it zooms in onto Alice and she says, hi, I'm going to go to line 16 here, which happens just after James flirts with her. And I'm going to type at remove. And then I'm going to props once again and typing in the same prop that I used to add it onto her. So I'm going to insert it there. You could just copy and paste this as well. So it's going to be at remove the name of the prop from the same character that we added it to, which in this case is Alice. Again, her name's got to be in all capital letters and then it will zoom in and she's going to say hi. But this time she's not going to have anything in her hand. This method applies to all props. It doesn't just have to be one where she's eating or something's in her hand. It could be a baby in her arms, for example, because there are animations that go with the props. And that's another thing you'll notice is that there are animations and props that go together. So stay tuned for my updated animation tutorial, which is coming where I'm going to be showing you a lot more things that you can do with animations and props are definitely included in that. But I'm going to save and preview this. So what's going to happen is she's going to have the sandwich in her hand. She's going to eat it. James is going to flirt with her and then it's going to be removed from her hand. It's going to zoom in on her. She's going to say hi, but this time she won't have anything in her hand. So save and preview and let's see. Perfect. The next thing I wanted to show you in this tutorial is how to add sounds in episode. 
So once again, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to where it says sounds. And you get so many different types of sounds. So like with the props, you can search through, oopsie, you can search through whichever prop you want. Let's say, for example, Alice's phone starts ringing, right? So I'm going to start typing in the word phone. And all of these sounds with phone are going to pop up. So there's phone beep, phone calling, phone call waiting, dial tone, number dial, so on and so forth. But here are some of the ring tones. So I'm going to click on this play button next to phone underscore ring. And it's going to give me a preview of what that sounds like. They also give us phone underscore ring two. And again, I'm going to preview it. So after all this happens, I'm going to go down to a new line over here. And in order to add the effect we have phone rings, I'm going to type in, in all lowercase, sound, space, and I'm going to insert whichever ringtone it is that I want. And to make it seem like she's checking her phone, I'm going to add an animation. So I'm going to go here to animations by character, drop down to Alice, and I'm going to search for phone. There should be one over here that says read phone. So I'm going to go with read phone gasp shocked. And under where the phone rings, I'm going to type at Alice starts ring phone gasp shocked. So what's going to happen is the phone's going to ring like we've just added in the new sound. And then she's going to look at her phone and be shocked, obviously. So let's preview that from line one. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity to bring this in. To ensure that she doesn't do what she just did where she's reading the phone and then it rings. After we add in the sound, I'm going to hit the space bar, type in at pause for. So you can type in pause for a beat and it will pause literally for a very short time. You can also type in pause for one. And then she'll pause for one second. You can say pause for two. She'll pause for two seconds and so on and so forth. Let's preview that from line 20 where she says hi. And then let's see if we've got more space between when the phone rings and when she reads it. Perfect. And then the last thing in this tutorial that I want to show you is how to insert music. So right at the beginning of the scene, I'm going to go to line one, hit the space bar. And when I go down to my sounds again, if you want to add music, so I'm going to take this folder off. I'm going to type the word music and there are a bunch of different music sounds that are going to pop up that again, we can preview. The way that we add music in here is instead of writing the keyword sound, I'm going to write the keyword music and select the music that I want. And like with sounds, I can click the play button and preview it. And one thing to note is that sometimes it will end with LP, which stands for loop. And I'm going to use the, this one specifically just to show you what happens when you're using a music sound that loops and how to stop it. So I'm going to type in music and then hit this button over here. And then I'm going to start playing the scene over from the beginning just to show you what happens when the music loops. Okay, I just had to hit mute because otherwise the music won't shut up. But anyways, when you want the music to stop at a certain point in your story, let's say, for example, we have the music stop right before Alice says hi. The keyword to get music to stop, especially music that's looping, or even if the music isn't looping, but you want it to stop at a certain point, all you've got to type is music space off. And it's going to automatically put this music off. So let's play that from the beginning and see how this goes. And 
and the scene continues without music and her sound effects gonna pop up on line 33 and that's basically how you add props and sounds to episode stories i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if there's anything that you're unclear about feel free to comment down below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible and to the best of my abilities this is where i'm going to end the video i'll see you in my next tutorial bye